You were courageous to speak openly against the Knight Commander. Why, thank Your you. Your words did not fall on deaf ears. Several nobles are discussing, quietly, what to do about Meredith. I cannot tarry here for risk of Templar spies. If you would make common cause with us, read this. I could use all the allies I can get. Secrecy is paramount. I'll communicate by messenger if the need arises. Make a look after you, Hawk, and our fragile endeavor. Let's take care of that then. was funny. Not going to help. Garahel. Love that guy. Last Flight is probably the best technically written book? Dragon Age book, I mean? Mercy, sir. Mercy. I've done nothing wrong. You harbored a known apostate. What crime is feeding my cousin? She was whipped. Half starving. It is a crime against the Maker. The sentence is... Intruders. Deal with them. You just noticed me, did you, Mark? <laughs> Someone needs to get smashing! Now you fall! Stop and visit Ganwen.
So, I hear you've been slipping it to that pirate slut from the Hanged Man. What's that like? Two women. I've always wondered. Let's not visit Ganwen. Jesus Christ. Can people not be so fucking creepy about Dahlia's love interests? How can you stand the clamor? Oh, we got a lot of letters. A new letter on your desk awaits your attention. Traveling at night, so that means we'll probably get fucked by a gang. We cannot stand idly well, by as Meredith oversteps herself at every turn. We shall have a Viscount again and return sanity to Kirkwall. This course is foolhardy. The Knight Commander will kill us all. Edgar, you do yourself no credit. My father and my grandfather both died defending Kirkwall from aggressors. Meredith is no different. Hawk, Lady Selbrech, you have my sword. I warned you. you that was weird. You we were in a fight and then got in only to get back in a fight. This attack will cement their conviction. When the time comes, you will have our aid. Take this with our blessings. Everyone, we must go before they send more attackers. What should we do next? Should we do Arsino's quest? Well, we got companion ones to do, actually. Let's prioritize them. How about Beric? Do you regret it? What happened with your sister, I mean? Got a minute, Hawk? I know this is ancient history, but remember that high town house Bartrand barricaded himself in? Bartrand doesn't exactly need the place now that he's in the sanitarium. I've been trying to sell it. I can only imagine there's a huge market for the homes of deranged killers. The creepy sort of people who are interested are generally not the ones with the coin to take it off my hands. 
I found a minor noble in Ravain who bought the place sight unseen. But now there's a problem. They say the place is haunted. Bartran's atrocities must have weakened the barrier between this world and the Fade. Maker, I hope not. I don't think I can fix the Veil through applied use of force. They've noticed some minor problems. Uh, voices whispering in the walls, apparitions, things moving on their own. My hope is it's a relic Bartran brought back from the Deep Roads. We smash it, and the haunting stops. I'm not an expert on hauntings, but... What if smashing something does not make the problem go away? Ah, that's where things get tricky. You're a mage. You must know something about weird shit. <laughs> I'm sure you'll be able to figure something out that will help. Very well. We'll investigate the mansion. Again. Thanks, Hawk. I knew you wouldn't let me down. You don't wish... Maybe you haven't found it again? Whatever I wish, it is already done. You're lucky then. There are so many things I wish I could undo. it's got to be at night. Ugh. Did I mention I ate traveling at night? Because I ate traveling at night. This isn't a place. What's this? Blood Mage. is restless. I guess the buyer wasn't kidding. Neat trick. You're supposed to do that, is it? Where is that voice coming from? What voice? I can barely hear it. I wish I, I don't think I can do this. Hello? Is there a ghost? Would you stop that, please? <laughs> Meryl. I can feel it, Hawk. Look at this. My brother's junk was left here. You wouldn't know it, but Bartrand was a sentimentalist. This came from our estate in Orzammar. When I was seven, I knocked over one of Mother's plates and broke it. <laughs> My brother yelled at me for an hour. This was made by the artisans of House Saldras. 
The clay was from the Adros Hatuna River, which never sees the sun. Arr! He was that upset over a dish. I don't think it was a dish to Bartrand. That stupid plate was the whole city of Orzammar to him. Powerful magic. Oh, many thousands of deaths must have happened here. This isn't being caused by some random artifact. The idol is still in the house, Hawk. It has to be. Well, or a piece of it. Whatever is here <laughs> is angry. You said it, Meryl. Are you real? You've got to get out of here before it comes back. Where's Who the, the idol? Who the fuck are you? What idol? Don't waste my time with your lies. Tell me where it is. Take it easy, Varric. She's telling us what she can. She's hiding something, Hawk. Don't lie to me. I know it's here. You must have found it. I swear. I don't know anything about an idol. Please! Maker, no! It's starting again! Things back. I'm not even doing any damage. God, this fucking thing. Now it's red for some reason. for himself. Think of what we could do with this. I don't know about you, Varric, but I don't want to end up like Bartrand. 
I'm not my brother, Hawk. The idol drove him crazy, but this is just one tiny piece. Smells like I a bad idea to me. Six years of my life have gone into this. The shard is my only hope of curing Bartrand. It's my only chance to set any of this right. Well, fuck it. Your decision, I guess. Very well. Just be careful with it. I knew you'd understand, Hawk. Let's get out of here. I've seen enough of this damnable house to last three lifetimes. I don't wander around Hightown much. I sort of stick out. You pity him. He's dangerous to him. You're doing that nervous twitchy thing again, Hawk. Don't worry. I'll be careful with the shard. You of all people know I'm trustworthy. <laughs> Me? Nervous? Nah. Cursed, insanity-causing shards of evil make me feel warm and fuzzy. See? Nothing to worry about. What are you having? Edwina, let's get a couple of drinks here. Hawk? Ugh. This is awkward. You? At a loss for words? I should mark this day on my calendar. Enjoy this while it lasts. It might never happen again. <laughs> Look, I just want to say, it has been an honor knowing you. You're a good friend, Varric. I know. It's hard to imagine what you'd do without me. You know it's six years today. Six years since I found you dragging your tail out of Bartrand's office. <laughs> Here's to whatever comes next. You say that now. <laughs>